up, you guys? It is Mary. And Alma. And you're about to just like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, y'all, because today we are going to be talking about Tamari and Cody's contentious relationship. According yeah. to McKelty, they have always had a really head-butting relationship where it seems like they always go back and forth, and it's like a lot of vicious verbal and emotional abuse, she yes. would say. But she said there was no physical abuse. He's never put his hands on anybody. That's just not who he is. But, but she did not say that about Mary, though. Do you think that she was beating Cody? She did just, not say that. She said, my father has never been physical. He's not that kind of person to be physically abusive. And this is all coming from her she Patreon account. She does not accounts. say anything about Mary. Oh, yes. And also, you guys, Whether if, she if is whoever... abusive or not. And I, I, I yeah. thought that that was very telling. Yes. Especially with the allegations that we heard, which I believe, I thought that was very telling. Because even if she's saying that mary doesn't physically abuse cody she certainly did not say mary you know mary also is not a physical abusive person you know she what say you that know she what left I, that you know what and i thinking? think it's because mary she's all she's one of the kids who suffered abuse at the hands you know what of. i just but that's not that's you know what i got you got that but let me tell you what i got oh let me tell you what me. i got what do you get I'm thinking mm. if Mary was somebody who willy nilly will put her hands on people, let alone kids, which is just effing crazy. Right. Why wouldn't she put her hands on Cody? Like if they're in an argument, she starts hitting. Because you know how sometimes yeah. women get upset and sometimes we like hit them. I was, I have never hit no. nobody that I was with or whatever. No. You know how sometimes you might hit somebody or whatever? Like mm -hmm. some women we have seen on TV will go and hit somebody yeah, or see, slap them or whatever. Oh. Why wouldn't she be hitting him if they got into a contentious relationship? Right, right. And maybe he will restrain her or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that is also a theory you know what i'm saying because sometimes men will let women hit them but they just would not hit the woman right you know what i'm saying now i'm not saying that cody's completely innocent because we have seen him get violent and have his microaggressions and how oh, yeah. he will absolutely. um was it oh, yeah. hit absolutely. things and then like yeah. i can totally see him doing that with mary oh, yeah. and i can probably absolutely. see her hitting cody you know what i'm saying i can totally see mary do that especially as emotional as the range she is to be hitting kids i would not put it past her yeah but I'm very shocked because, you know, from the beginning, I always he, literally, you know, he because she said that she heard first, she said that she heard <coughs> it from the wives and the kids. Right. Right. But then she also said we all saw it also. She said that as well. So that was the only thing sometimes with with my Kelty and, and, you know, I do feel for them, you know, because it's it's family you know it's family yeah um at the same time you don't want them to look so bad either you yeah know? i mean she talked about one time you know people coming for her dad mckelsey is very protective of her dad yeah so she, i can say that so she you know she doesn't want it to sound so bad <laughs> because it's still her family at the end of the day so I do sympathize. I do sympathize. But yeah. But my thing is from the very beginning. And emotional. And she did say that her father has said on many occasions. That she can leave. That she can, Mary can leave. Because you know, my thing is from which when I, we started I think watching was so, it. It's, that's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking that he's been saying this to Mary and everybody knows. But And then my Kelty says, as, as if it was okay for Cody to be saying that. She says, I mean, so she The door's always left. been open. She could have left. She could have been, been left. She could have left. She could have left with no kind of accountability for Cody, which I don't expect her to have because she's a child. You know, not that she's a child right now. She's protecting her daddy. But that's her father, and she, for a lot of the relationship, she was a child. So she sees it through the eyes of a child, in a sense. Not seeing the back end of it, yeah. of Cody's manipulation, Cody's deception, because yeah. he comes with this stuff as a psychiatry, remember, when he said that almost from the very beginning she deceived him, which was news to all of us. And then he felt obligated to marry her, meaning that he really didn't want to marry her. Then he says the same, you know, he also says later on that, um, you know, after the honeymoon, it was over. He was with someone he couldn't stand. But my thing is, even though we started so watching this show, almost from the 16, very beginning, Cody <coughs> did not like Mary, was not honest with her, right? Waited until she was totally broken, 
and had done some really vile stuff and then now it's like so it's like there's no accountability on his side because he can always say well you know she did such and such and she you know what i'm saying but since he was 16, i just feel from the very watching, beginning yeah when you thought that whatever you should after all when you marry these women you know how old how old is mary i think mary is 52 cody is 54. so mary was what like 19 or something and cody was 21 or anyway they were in their early 20s i mean I guess. even though we started watching the show from season like, 16 i felt like even back then because mm -hmm. we started watching the show on the reunion i felt like even back then i could tell that he really hated her yeah um obviously this is 16 seasons in but then when we started watching from like season one i was mm -hmm. like yeah this man does not like her Doesn't like i remember like even during he was it their her. first dinner they yeah. were it seemed like she was talking about how oh what if i was with another man how would you feel whatever and he's like i don't even want to talk about that like he just seemed annoyed and then when they had their whole trip to mexico he did not want her to do anything he didn't want to do anything romantic with her no. i was like this is actually a man who oh he can't stand her are you okay <laughs> nasty fly touching oh. my skin yeah. anyway anyway not the exfoliate mm -hmm. anyway but <laughs> Sugar. But no, I felt like since then, like he just has never really liked to marry. I feel yeah. like I don't know what it was, but it just seemed like he had this deep seated hatred for her. Yeah. And when McKelty's here talking about how they had this contentious relationship and it's always been like that, it's like you said, this man has not liked her from the beginning. Yeah. He really did not and want a woman her. Knows that. But he was really with her because she was a good listener. Mm -hmm. She was a great lap dog for whatever he wanted to do. And she would be a great first Obviously, wife to bring money. in all these women. Obviously, she had, she money. had money, of course. Probably brought her in inheritance like janelle brought hers to the marriage yeah. you, well, that's how i feel that's exactly how i feel false i just i don't think he really wanted her for real for real i really don't think oh. he did because he said she's always been a worker woman making money well i mean all obviously it's opportunity he was but getting also, ready yeah that's how i feel with him to exploit yeah, that's how to get the been, money that's why it's never been patriarchy because he weren't talking about no damn patriarchy no, when you're no. there eating m-e-r-s no, he was trying. M R at what's that? M R E. Yeah. M R E. He was. He was. Um, what are thinking of survival? It's, yeah. It's called um, meal ready. What is it? Meal ready to eat. So it, it's meals that are all oh. packed and ready to eat. Kind of like a oh. noodle. Oh. Or maybe a complete meal. But, but yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about the property thing, which you I know, think it so should I just be against feel the like wall. He exploited Mary. He did. That's but he also, I feel. Didn't I am like her. not excusing what she did. I'm not. Yeah. But I feel like being with the person that she was with mm -hmm. really brought her to a very, very, very low place. I mean, she was already in a low place because, I mean, she had her mama who was there. Exactly. She was she was basically a lapdog mm -hmm. herself in that marriage. Mm -hmm. Had a man who married five women back to back to back mm -hmm. after he got with her. Mm -hmm. And Mary just followed in those footsteps. Mm -hmm. And then Leon was going to fall right behind her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Leon saw what the her mama was doing exactly. with the whole sex and thing. And she was like, like oh, hell no. Exactly. I'm going to go do whatever the hell I want to go exactly. do. And I will, exactly. the last person I'll be talking to is Mary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but, yeah, I do. I don't think that relationship was ever going to work. No. And I do think it's unfortunate because he did use Mary. Yeah. But he just he never liked her. And it's not a very her. good environment to bring up children. And this is no. why his father is calling him irresponsible. You're with someone you don't like. You're still hanging with her, though. You have no money. You're bringing in another woman, and you ain't got no money. You're bringing in another woman. Well, a woman you that you're living them, with. You have both of them working, and you're with them for survival. You're exploiting them. You're irresponsible. This is not what this life is about. You need to be able to take care of them. Okay? So that's how I feel with him. Cole didn't know what the hell he was and doing. So His parents became and I, and polygamous on a, when he was on a mission trip. He came yeah. back. He's like, whoa, what's going on here? But this would be great to stroke my ego. Yeah. I but mean, I need to prove something to my daddy. Ken. Yeah. You know, so, and I also, it was wrong, you know, it's such an awful environment that they have to be in going back and forth with emotional and verbal abuse for the children to hear. But I'm shocked. I mean, I don't know. Am I shocked if Mary was hitting Cody? I could totally see her hitting him. You know, him I don't know if she was hitting him. But it was very telling that Mike Kelty absolved her. You dad. don't think Mary was hitting Cody in arguments? I actually don't know. But do you But think I would so? not be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. I, mean, I, I, I don't see think her. that Cody's going to stand to let Mary hit him. <laughs> but I don't think he likes her that much. <laughs> he will restrain her very strongly. 
really strongly, maybe even leave a bruise or two with the strength he 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 restrains like, her with. Like you, you know, by like grabbing you know her wrist or something. Yeah, you know? I don't see him sitting down. He doesn't like Mary that much for him to um, sit down. Just like how he refuses for her to divorce him. He had to yeah. divorce her first to make sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, There's you know no that way makes sense. Cody actually, gonna sit down for Mary to to hit him. No, he will restrain her very firmly to the point that it hurts. Yeah, like I already don't like you, and I'm gonna let you be beating my ass too. I think no. not. <laughs> let me oh, restrain yeah. this arm to the point that you will feel that it's almost going to break. <laughs> Allegedly, but I'm not allegedly, going, I'm allegedly. Not going, I'm not going to hit you though. We do not condone violence I on this channel. <laughs> I mean, I, I told you guys, I think, about the story because I was in Shotokan, right? And I was the only oh, girl. Oh, about the skillet. In my Shotokan. I was the only girl in my Shotokan, right? And, um, and I was able to hit the guys, my opponent. But they had to, the teacher had told them, you are not allowed to retaliate, but you can defend yourself. You can move her punch. If she's coming at punch, you can block her. <laughs> Those guys were blocking me. Let me tell you, all I could hear were my bones cracking. Because when I come in and they go like they go like this, I mean, I was coming home with bruises. I mean, as black as I am, my it was it was all you could see all the black and purple and deep midnight blue bruises all on my arms. I will come home, you know, climbing up the step, crawling up the steps. I was in so much pain. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, I was even hitting her, but I see he restraining her very firmly. I'm sure. If she tried to hit him. Yeah. Allegedly, because my, my Kelty did not absolve her, but she surely absolved her father. So, yeah. Yeah, so you guys, I mean, was it shocking to you guys about that? And do you think that Mary hit Cody? Do you think that Cody restrained her if she allegedly hit him? Or do you think he took it? Or do you think he stood there and took it from Mary? I think not. You know, when you said it now, I was like, yeah, probably he wouldn't. But what did he have in the beginning? Let me think, maybe. Oh, before my Kelsey was born? Because my Kelsey didn't say that Mary didn't hit nobody. She didn't. But, I mean, we because were remember they were Hayden together. They were together, they were together for two years prior. But no, because if, if he has done that before, he probably will do it again. But I don't know. Yeah. Um. But yeah. But yeah, I, it was interesting that Michael T did not absolve Mary about that with the father. Yeah. But yes, y'all, it's Mary and Emma. Be much as a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. <laughs>